there's no, you know, big reward for being mm-hmm. the biggest train salesman, you know. There's so, no big, there's no large conference where you get like some kind of Illuminati thing. <laughs> no, no, that's a lie. I, f- I figure it's one of them like eyes wide shut type things like the Clintons used to go to. Mm. You used to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Man. But no, he was on here a couple of weeks ago when he said Joe's a train dealer too now. I was like, what? Joe sells like a mana a ream or something like that. He's like, no, he sells trains. You sell trains, Joe? Yeah, I got signed up with him. I haven't uh, sold one yet, but I can if I want to. Wow, that sounds like you're real fired <laughs> up about train, man. Yeah, I don't know. You know, what? so what, uh, what's there's the some deal? things I don't like about them so much, but is it tech? Um, yeah, like their water source units. I don't. I'm pretty sure they don't make their own water source units anyway. It's probably someone else's. I think they do on. because no, I've never seen anybody else's like theirs. <laughs> In kind a good of, way. That sounds negative, actually. What's wrong with them? Why are they bad? The water source units. All right. So here's one thing about them that's really, really odd that I don't like about them. Um, the vertical, like smaller tonnage ones, it has just a slab coil that's either on the left or the right usually. It's just a straight up and down coil, and then blower discharges out the top, so it has a flat drain pan. Well, the outlet of the drain pan is in the back of the unit, and the drain runs completely level to the front of the unit and then out. So how are you supposed to slope that? I mean, you have to basically set the unit perfectly level so you have a perfectly level drain, because if you try to pitch it any sort of way, it's not going to be in your favor. Because if you make the back of the unit higher, it just doesn't work out. Because then the water pulls to the front of the pan and doesn't go to the back of the pan to the outlet and then back out the front of the unit. The entire uh, control section has to be unmounted and removed from the unit to get to the compressor capacitor. Seems to me like everything I've seen about like water source systems or geothermal systems is they're set up to make service a nightmare. I mean, maybe, but train even more so. (laughs) Train's the worst of the group. Well, Joe, why is it that uh, you seem kind of half-hearted with selling train? Well, what's the problem? Why don't you jump on board so you can be like the other guys who run the world or whatever? You know, Ted. Basically, what drove me to do it was that Ream is going all two-stage uh, for this. I guess in heat pumps anyway, which is primarily what I do. So their two-stage units now are like you know, about twice as much as I can get like a 14 sear unit for. So I'm just kind of waiting as they still haven't released the pricing on that. But then Ted and and me were arguing one night and then Ted was saying that their 14 sear units already meet the standards. And I called him a liar because how can you just have one unit one day that's 14 sear and then tomorrow it magically meets the other one. But so in an effort to prove him wrong, I looked it up and sure enough, there are a lot of their 14 series units already are in the database with the new ratings. Then I guess um, through the whole uh, supply chain crisis and everything, the some train dealers have not been able to get equipment as much. So they're actually trying to sign people up and not making them, uh, sign any, you know, contracts or guarantee that you'll sell fifty thousand dollars worth of equipment or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they just signed me up. So you know, I started looking at them. I'm not like super crazy about the air handler sizes, as much as that's one really nice thing I've come to love about selling Ream is pretty compact air handlers and the train. It's from what I've kind of been looking at it, they're pretty giant air handlers. So, I talking know. about them plastic lunchbox ones? Not even that. The I do like that air handler. I've come to like it more simply because here in Florida, um, after dealing with like a lot of water management issues, I just would lo- wouldn't mind the fact that the unit is the drain pan. So I don't hate that air handler. They are really expensive. 
uh, and the metal ones, it seems like they only come in two sizes. It's like 18 and a half or 23 and a half. I like it too. I like the fact you could clean it out real easy because some yeah. of them look pretty funky after a while. Mm -hmm. Just spray it down. Yep. Hose it off. But you know what? You know, speaking of Especially ring, the motor, hose it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's little holes you could spray inside of it. You know, that, that's, that's yeah. pretty good. That's what those are for. Uh, constant mm -hmm. duty, constant flow. You know, I was gonna say, take notes, people in the chat. Yeah, take notes. There's a lot of knowledge flowing out here today. <laughs> uh, Dallas, do you still do uh, Ream stuff? Because I know you switch companies. So, are you doing Ream still, or is it something else? Yeah, they do. They do uh, Ream, Goodman, and, and uh, Bosch. Oh, interesting. Oh, so gosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is I, better I, than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Bosch lover now. I'm a Bosch lover. Are you, are you yeah. legit a Bosch lover? Do you like them? Uh, well, actually, uh, the guys install them. So be I've careful. Never, um, yeah. I've never uh, worked on one yet. I've never worked on one yet. So I've just been to jobs where they are running and the customers haven't complained or anything like that. Well, to you know. Clear this up, Dallas. This climate, they actually yeah. want humidity. Yeah, yeah, because where I live, even I right now, uh, towards fall, the the it's gonna be warm out, but the humidity can go down single digits. It it can get as low as like four percent. So and, we're not. And didn't you say you purposely run the fan on to drive the humidity up more? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So Bosch is perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, the, um, mm -hmm. but the customers we put them in for, they like them because they're nice and quiet. They love them because they're quiet. It, um, and they are. Knock on wood, I haven't been on a service call where they said it wasn't working. You know, type thing. Uh, you know, because how they ramp down. So, uh, and it seems like they're built. They're built good. They're they're, they're solid, solidly built. They're quiet, so customers don't complain. Right now, so. Uh, and the fan coils are pretty well built too, so I'm a, yeah. officially a, a Bosch lover, I would say. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, Dallas, we are not friends anymore. Well, hold on, I mean, he's, he's right. You know, if you're gonna put a Bosch in the desert, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah exactly. That's where a Bosch yeah. belongs. Yeah. is the desert. Out, out here, everybody's all they're all worried about. You know, there's limited size, so the, the oh, I love how small it is, but you're so, still supposed to have them uh, 12 inches away from the house. They still get rammed, you know, six inches, four inches away from the up to the house you know, or the block wall. So it, 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 they're really not that much of a savings, space savings, if you read the directions, because so, the reams yeah. can go like six inches. What well, about those said. Ream and Fujitsu systems? Have you done one of those yet? Oh, yeah. No, uh, our company has, but I haven't been to one yet. I just saw pictures of one. It turned out really nice. So I, I haven't been to one of those either. So I'd like to check that out. I think it's going to be a real quiet unit. It should be, right? Yeah, it should yeah. be really are quiet. You, yeah, yeah. And I'm guessing their variable about, speed? Yeah, uh, the one I looked mm -hmm. at, it had, uh, I think it had a couple circuits on it. You know if they have a couple circuits on there, Joe? Like the, no, the one I'm talking about is just an air handler and a condenser, but it's the um, Fujitsu condenser yeah. on a ream air handler. Yeah, it looks like it has uh, Fujitsu Electronics inside of it. Oh, the air handler? Yeah, yeah, it's not like a conventional air handler. It's different. So you're talking new. a mini-split condenser on a standard air yes. handler? Yes. Yeah. 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 The carrier supposedly is doing that, too. I haven't seen one, though. I guess Medea's making them now, so there's all these... There's like a Mr. Cool DIY split system now. So oh, that's yeah. gonna be. Um, is that that guy you sent me the link to on YouTube that has like eighty <laughs> yeah. videos that are an yeah. hour long? Yeah, that's great. Well, Mister Cool, we made, I made like a speaking of like the intros of these shows. I made like a whole commercial about Mister Cool. I'm, I'm guessing it must be the same unit because they have the line sets. And what I said was like you just plug them together, they go, and it's finished, mm -hmm. and you're all done. Are they the pre-charged yeah. line sets? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Just like the old days. Yeah, like we went. Liebert, Liebert units. Um, We're residential. Uh, yeah, I like those Liebert. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah 407 C. <laughs> I've seen them on um, different residential units, too. I think I've seen them on. Uh, did Train do that for a while? 
Who who did yeah, that? I've seen, like, I've seen well, those that, line sets. Yeah, that was popular back in the day. And the I've seen them on refrigeration 80s. units too, like even newer ones where it's that weird fitting that like cuts the other fitting when you put it together. Mm-hmm. It pierces through the little. Thing. Yeah, I think trailers used to do that too mm-hmm. back in yeah. the day because you'd see them, you go up on them, and they don't have service valves or anything. They just have the line sets right to the unit. Yeah, yes. It's weird. That's weird stuff. Yeah, it's like. Uh, Technology just goes around in big circles. <laughs> yeah, that's innovative. You know, if someone showed me now, it's like, wow, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now you can just install your own and it'll be perfect. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.